Hello everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this call today, really appreciate it. During the service this afternoon, we're going to be studying the theme of presence, the privilege of God's presence. So I just wanted to ask you one or two questions, if that's okay. Starting with how conscious have you been of God's presence in the past? Uh, Diane, I wonder whether you mind answering for us first of all. So you mean before, before lockdown, the past? Yeah, yeah. I got, really, I got really busy. I think I was really busy and I had lost a little bit of that, mm. that intimacy, I think. Okay. Yeah. And how about for you, Jason? Um, yeah, I suppose the same. I mean, um, I had, you know, work was getting really busy. We were preparing to move home. And although you, you know that God's there and your, your focus is there, it's... It's kind of not immediate and it's not all there all the time. You just get wrapped up in the busyness of day-to-day -day existence, really. Yeah. And for you, Michelle? Um, yeah, I think it's, so it's often about taking time. So when you deliberately take time out, I think then you notice God's presence more. So yeah. maybe in a worship time at church or something or perhaps quite often that if I've gone on a train journey or something like that where there's nothing else to do and I've intentionally taken that time to spend time mm. with it, I think I would notice God's presence also sometimes it's the timeliness of things so mm. a song or something somebody says or a verse might crop up and yeah. then you notice God's presence mm. that's really helpful mm. and so how about during the lockdown then have you have you experienced God's presence in a new way or got a fresh uh, knowledge of, of God's presence since, since the lockdown? Jason, perhaps you'd like to start for us this time. Hmm. Um, when it started, I had a picture, um, which I felt was very much just for us as a family, which was uh, being hidden in a cave with God's hand over the front, protecting mm -hmm. it, which was really nice for the family. Um, in terms of the actual lockdown, I found it, found it very hard because um, normally okay, I work from home which is fine but I tend, I tend to go to work which is in Poland once every month yeah. um, we, again we were quite focused on moving house um, which is a stressful business in its own right sure. um, so there was something very concrete to hang on to at the beginning from God which was really nice but I, I have found the lockdown hard but having that at the beginning has been, been you know, a rock to hang on to it's been great mm -hmm. Thanks. And how about for you, Michelle? Um, two things, really, I suppose. One is, um, so when I've been at work at school, it's been pretty full on. And there's been lots of new things to learn and it's all been quite different. And quite um, lots of people have been quite anxious. So I think the fact that I have managed to cope with it well and actually found it a challenge rather than a big problem, mm. um, is kind of God with me whilst that's been happening. Absolutely. And then the other thing is, I think at the beginning, especially, there was quite a lot of time. Um, so as I was saying before, there's a bit more time to intentionally spend time with God. So things like I've been doing quite a lot of running and I've been doing quite a lot of art. So when you, you're quiet and you're by yourself a little bit more, I think then mm. I've noticed God mm. speaking to me maybe a little bit more. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. And how about for you, Diane? Yeah, I, I had a real encounter with the Lord. I had uh, when I got here, I think the first two weeks that I was here, I was, I just felt like he was so far away and I was, I couldn't connect. Didn't matter what I was doing, music, nothing. I couldn't connect. And one day I just cried out to him and he gave, he spoke to me very specifically and I started to weep and I came home and then um, I did what he told me to do. And immediately uh, he confirmed it two times with the two, he gave me two Bible verses and then Jay came into the room not knowing what had happened and gave me the same two Bible verses. And mm. from that moment on, it's been really different. And um, it's been really different. And um, it's reminded me of love, Do you know? Yeah. It's yeah. reminded me of what's most important in, um, yeah. So. It's brilliant. Thank you. Just going to close with this, this question. If you were to advise others to do one thing 
to perhaps be more conscious of God's presence or experience God's presence, what one thing would you advise uh, people do, perhaps because of your own experience? Diane, why don't you start this time? Well, I think what Michelle said was important. It's, it's what speaks to you. You know, maybe music does. It's those usual things that you go to that really speak to you. Um, I think for me, I just, none of that was working. And so I was just crying out to him. And he will always answer that cry of the heart. And so maybe just get to a place where you, what do you need? And cry out to him for his closeness because, because he'll come. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Jason? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. I think one of the things that um, I'm guilty of, I'm sure a lot of people are, is just not having enough time. So make time, put it in your diary, put it in your, your Outlook calendar, you know, set the alarm on the, on the desk or whatever. It's so important. You can't get that time back. So just make time. Thank you. That's really helpful. How about for you, Michelle? Well, you stole my one, Jason. <laughs> I was going to say the same. But um, I think it's, it's Tori, Cory Ten Boom said, uh, make an appointment with the Lord. And um, when there's a lot of busyness going on, it's good to have some time set aside. And yeah, I don't think God really ever fails to use that. That's brilliant. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jason, Michelle, Diane, for sharing with us today. God bless you. Keep you safe. You. Hope to see you sooner rather than later. Yeah. God bless you. God bless.